From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. A teen pregnancy call center and the difference between a cold and the flu. Hello, I'm Maya Preciado and welcome to Local Matters featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Jonathan Oyegoke. A call center helps pregnant teens and young moms with vital resources. Kristen Angon explains. Few people may know there are pregnancy centers out there that help aid pregnant women and families in need of assistance. We're a nonprofit organization that helps pregnant women. We are run completely by volunteers and we give pregnancy tests and we give practical assistance and we also educate the people that come in by uh, brochures and films and we do counsel. Our main goal in here is to save the unborn. We help them, we give them options, and then if they do decide to have the baby, we'll help them with uh, whatever their needs are, clothing, diapers, uh, formula, and with doctors. And they could come here once a month and get that service. We are open to anybody. We have grandparents come in, we have fathers, we have boyfriends, in addition to the ladies. It's not a place where we preach to people or anything. We're trying to educate them. Right now, people are coming to us, but we're trying to reach out to the community. We're going to start contacting schools, churches, and youth groups, and we hope to prevent people from coming in here. It would be wonderful if we were put out of business. <laughs> If you're in need of help or would like to donate, contact your local pregnancy center. For Local Matters, I'm Kristen Angon. Do you know the difference between a cold and the flu? Ashley Voss helps us sort out the details. Many people get sick this time of year, but how do you know if you have a cold or the flu? There are many, many viruses that can cause cold, and the viruses constantly change. So it's very difficult to find a treatment for cold but flu is caused by uh, the influenza virus. And of course, uh, flu can come on much faster than a normal cold does. You, you have symptoms of severe body ache and uh, symptoms that are more severe than cold. All these viruses are generally what we call airborne viruses. If you're around somebody who's sick and if they sneeze or cough and you breathe the same air, you get but more commonly than that, you can also spread this from contact, you know. So it's very important if somebody has a cold or a flu that um, they wash their hands regularly. They make sure that, uh, you know, they cover their mouth, they cover their, if they're coughing or sneezing so that they don't spread the droplets all over the place. Because once those droplets are somewhere else, somebody else can touch it and then that's how generally most colds and coughs gets, get transmitted from one person to the other. This year we were lucky we didn't see a big flu problem in the beginning of winter, but we are seeing a lot of it now. So next time you get sick, make sure you know how to treat it first. For Local Matters, I'm Ashley Voss. Well, that's all we have for now. I'm Maya Preciado. And I'm Jonathan Oyegoke. Join us next time for more local stories that matter. <laughs>